All right, welcome, welcome. This is Coach Bree, and I am the head coach of the Lady Panthers Girls Basketball Association. And I personally wanted to welcome you all to the Fort Worth Her Time to Play program that will be kicking off on this Saturday at 10 a.m. at the Sycamore Community Center. Um, give you a little bit about myself and my organization. The Lady Panthers Girls Basketball Organization is my basketball program. I have eight coaches on my staff. Um, we are set up and designed to coach girls from age seven to age 18. Uh, we have been in existence for 11 years. Um, you know, we, 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 have, we have fun. We've done some things, uh, give you some highlights. Um, we became world champions in 2018 as we traveled to Europe to play in the United World Games and actually went undefeated and won. Um, we are a 3x3 program. We have had a team win a USA Basketball 3x3 national qualifier and travel to the Olympic Training Center on an all expense paid trip to try out for the 3x3 U18 women's girls national women's national team. Um, we are also a national champion program. We have won the State Games of America national program, a uh, national championship uh, tournament. At the um, in Nebraska at the Nebraska State uh, State Fair, that was pretty fun to do. So uh, we've done some things. Uh, if you ever want to go and find out about us, go out on the internet. Our website is www.lpgvaladypanthers.org. Do not worry about trying to understand what I said because in this email that you got this uh, video in, our information is in there. So it's, um, but just to reiterate, it's lpgbaladypanthers.org. And like I said, you don't have to worry about what I said. Did she say a P or a D or a G or a B? Because the link is going to be in the email and you can just click on it from there. Go to our website, see what we're about, see what we've done and things of that nature. Uh, we are blessed to be um, coming to Fort Worth. Um, working with the city of Fort Worth Parks and Recreation Department, as well as Fort Worth ISD to help uh, revamp the girls basketball program over there. And one of the first things that we're gonna do is bring the junior NBA her time to play programs, the girls over there. We work specifically with girls basketball. They're gonna have uh, some other program work with the boys side. We're gonna be working specifically with the girls side in Fort Worth. As you can see behind me, I have our USA basketball seal. We are an accredited USA basketball organization. Uh, we have been, for about five or six years now, I think. Uh, no other organization in DFW Metroplex is an accredited USA basketball uh, program, and they don't even give those accreditations out anymore. So those aren't so you can't get another one, so they're hard to come by. And we are blessed to actually have one. Uh, we are licensed with USA Basketball. We are licensed with AAU, and we are a junior NBA member organization. We also work with the Mavericks Girls Empowered by Mavericks program or Girls Gym program for short. So we're going to be bringing some programs from um, USA Basketball Junior NBA and the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, also, uh, when we get some things going with the Dallas Wings, we'll do some things with them as well for the girls. We are also an AAU program, but we don't really participate in too many AAU tournaments. Um, we do some other things, but we are licensed through, like I said, USA Basketball um, and AAU. We also have uh, NFHS uh, licenses uh, for those that don't know, NFHS is the governing organization for high school sports in the United States. And so, you know, Texas is UIL and then UIL answers to NFHS. So, um, we're we're educated and we have our licenses and we're glad to come and coach your girls and help the coaches over there. We're not coming to take over and do anything. We are coming to help the Fort Worth coaches to uh, get girls basketball back on track over there. Uh, so let's talk more about the Her Time to Play program. The Junior NBA Her Time to Play program is normally 12 weeks, but because um, everybody in Texas goes back to school in August and goes early in August, we condensed it to six weeks. So instead of it being a two hour program, they're gonna be four hours. And um, the dates and the times are gonna be June 5th, June 12th, June 26th, July uh, 10th, July 17th, and July 24th. So June, Saturday, June 5th, Saturday, June 12th, Saturday, June 26th, Saturday, June 10th, Saturday, June 17th, and Saturday, I mean, excuse me, 
July 10th, Saturday, July 17th, and Saturday, July 24th. We will not have uh, her time to play programs on Juneteenth weekend, which is June 19th, or July 4th weekend, which is July 3rd. And the date, the times are going to be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And so um, for those that do not know, or the, the girls may know, but the parents may not know, we did a contest with all of the Fort Worth ISD schools because we, um, the program goes from age 17 to age 18, and we're going to split them up from a 7 to 10 year old group, 11 to 14 year old group, and a 15 to 18 year old group. We may think about combining the 11 to 18 year olds in certain things, but the 7 to 10 year olds will be completely kept separate from the older girls. You know, there are just different things that we're going to do with different groups. But um, we we're had a we I set up a contest with the Fort Worth ISD uh, you know the school coaches all levels elementary PE junior high coaches high school coaches and for the school that has the most girls registered and attend all six sessions they have to come to all six sessions we will give them a free two hour USA basketball skills training for that group of girls for that school. And it will either be held at the school or at a Sycamore Community Center. We will work that out with the coaches. So we're trying to get as many girls as possible signed up. We currently have 36 girls registered to come on Saturday. We have a space for 100. So we got 64 spots more op uh, still open. So if you girls play on teams or you know, you're at school, call your girls and ask them, hey, have y'all registered for the Her Time to Play program? They got some spots open. I'll, you know, we'll forward you this, this uh, email that Coach Brees sent and you can get signed up and things like that, especially if you play high school ball. If you play high school ball, make sure that your teammates are signed up to come. Tell them, hey, y'all want to come in. This is an opportunity to get some free off the court training and some free on the court training. And there is nothing, there is nothing <laughs> that comes from free. You know, there's free and there's paid and you're basically doing the same thing either way. But um, we're, the Her Time to Play program is completely free. And it's from two, uh, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And uh, then after that, for those that may be interested, we do have a paid skills training that goes from 2.30 to 3.30. And um, you can go to the active link, the website that you went to to register for Her Time to Play, put in the search box um, skills training. And it'll pop up with all the dates and the dates for the USA Basketball Youth Development Skill Training is also the same dates of her time to play. Her time to play will be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then the um, USA Basketball Paid Skills Training is from 2.30 to 3.30. You're not obligated to come to the USA Basketball Skills Training, but we do have that registration going as well. The her time to play is free, but the USA Basketball Skills Training is not free. It's $25 per session and we have six sessions. But like I said, the Her Time to Play is free. The uh, USA Basketball Skills Training is not free. It's 25 a session. You are not obligated to come to that, but make sure that you show up from 10 to two for the, uh, the Her Time to Play. So some things, let's talk about the Her Time to Play and get some things going. The night before, which is this Friday, June 4th, I need you ladies to carbo load. Uh, spaghetti, Alfredo, any type of pasta, um, pizza but let's try to shy away from pepperoni or straight cheese you know straight pepperoni or straight cheese because of the grease let's shy away from hamburgers let's shy away from french fries uh let's carbo load the night before for dinner make sure that you're high, uh, hydrating start at about six o'clock if you can i need you ladies drinking some water some cold water from like say six to eight or six to nine or five to eight five to nine somewhere around there because we want to get your body you know get the the, the water in your body if you if you're using the restroom before you go to bed, you know you you've hydrated enough for the night. I don't want you ladies to wet the bed. Hey, I'm just being honest. Or I don't want you up in the middle of the night going to pee every five minutes. So kind of gauge your time for yourself. But starting about five or six o'clock, I need you ladies drinking at least one eight ounce cold glass or bottle of water are 16 ounces, most bottles are 16 ounces, but I need you drinking at least eight ounces of cold water starting about five or six o'clock until maybe an hour before you go to bed, okay? Then on that morning, June 5th, this Saturday, I need you up no later than 7.45, eight o'clock. I need you to get up. I need you to take a bath, wash, uh, not wash your hair, take a bath, wash your face, brush your teeth, comb your hair. 
I need you to put on a t-shirt. I need you to put on some shorts. I need you to put on, if you have basketball shorts, uh, excuse me, basketball socks, put those on. If you do not have basketball socks, put on two pair of socks because running up and down the court, if you just have on one pair of socks, you'll get blisters. So put on two pair of socks and then either basketball shoes are some running shoes. Do not wear any Vans. Don't wear any Keds. Don't wear any um, Crocs. No slides. You need to have on either basketball shoes or running shoes. If you have previously at any point played basketball and have sprained your ankle, you need to make sure that you bring your ankle brace. I'm, I'm just, I'm being honest with you. I'm a basketball coach. If you have, sprained, I don't care if it's basketball, soccer, tennis, I don't care if you played any other sport. If you have previously sprained your ankle and have an ankle brace that you need to wear when you're playing, you need to bring that with you. So Friday night, carbo load, hydrate. Saturday morning, get up no later than eight o'clock, 7.45, eight o'clock. You can get up before the end, just no later than eight o'clock. Get up, take a bath, comb your hair, brush your teeth, wash your face, get dressed, put on your shoes, uh, eat breakfast, eat breakfast. I don't care if it's cereal, uh, you can have eggs, toast, more oatmeal, whatever you eat for breakfast. Be careful eating bacon and sausage and ham or stuff like that. Once again, those tend to be greasy and they sit on your stomach and it's not good for an athlete after they have ate, eaten a full meal like that to have grease sitting on your stomach because it will come back to haunt you on the court. Eat some fruit, something like that. Make sure that you hydrate then as well. I need you to drink at least two cold glasses of cold water or a bottle 16 ounce bottle of cold water before you come to the gym. You come to the gym and got to pee when you get there, you've hydrated enough. And if you got to pee throughout the time, I mean, we're going to take breaks and things like that during her time to play, but make sure that you hydrate and carbo load the night before, which is Friday night. Get up on Saturday morning, eat breakfast, eat a good breakfast, some fruit or something, and make sure you drink some water before coming to the gym. I need everybody at the gym to start checking in around 9.15, so we are ready to go at 10 o'clock. Um, attached to this uh, email that this video came in is going to be a waiver form. If your school coach did not give you printout and give you a waiver form, then there's a waiver form attached to this email. If you have a printer, print it off. Uh, bring it with you. You are not allowed to walk into the gym without a waiver form turned in. If you do not have a printer, we will have waiver forms on hand. So if mom or dad, when they drop you off on Saturday, you need to bring them inside with you. They need to sign that waiver form for you and then you will be able to go into the gym. Okay. So start getting there at 915. I need you to bring a towel with you because athletes do not share equipment that requires you wiping your bodily fluids on it. So no bring, you know, uh, we're going to have drinks there for you. We're going to have Gatorade and things like that. But if you want to bring you like a, an empty water bottle and, and or to have, you know, to put your water in and stuff like that, do that. But we'll have Gatorade and cups and things like that. But I need you to bring, I need everybody to bring a towel. And if you have a black marker or a dark color marker, put your name somewhere on that towel. So your towel does not walk off without you. Okay. Everybody. So we got 36 girls coming. There should be 36 towels in the gym and we'll have you all places where you can put your stuff, but everybody needs to bring a towel. And then, like I said, we will have Gatorade on hand and there's water at the rec center. But if you want to bring your own uh, bottle, either an empty water bottle or a cinch bottle, you know, a uh, reusable bottle or something like that, you're more than welcome to do that. Make sure your name is on it. Okay. So, but you need to have a towel to be able to wipe sweat up if you're bleeding, you know, stuff like that. You know, if something happens and you, you know, hurt yourself and you bleed or you fall and you bleed or something like that, bring your own towel. Um, make sure that you understand that you need to have on either basketball shoes or running shoes. Do not come in there with vans or kids or Crocs or slides or house shoes. You will not step on the court if you do not have on basketball shoes or running shoes, Okay. And if you have basketball socks, if not, wear two pair of socks. Um, whatever it is, I'm going down my list trying to make sure that I have everything. Uh, we will have balls provided for the girls. My balls will not leave that gym, okay? But we will have balls provided for the girls to use. Uh, make sure that you bring either a pen or a pencil because the four hours is going to consist of two hours on the court, 
two hours off the court. We're going to be teaching life skills and, you know, topics such as, you know, body, uh, body language, confidence, being a good teammate, you know, making good grades. There are things that we're going to be doing off the court as well as playing ball on the court, you know, skills training and, you know, learning some different things on the court. And so make sure that you bring a pen or a pencil with you. And um, we're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. I want you ladies to come in and make, let you understand. And I'm going to drill into you if I do nothing else these next six weeks that you, sports are not sports if you're not having fun. Sports should not be a job at this age. You ladies are in school. You know, sports should be about fun first more than anything. If you want to go on to play college ball, you know, or be a professional athlete, that is wonderful. If you want to play high school ball, that is wonderful. But guess what? None of that matters if you don't enjoy playing the sport. So we're going to have fun. If you're shy, I'm going to bring you out of that shyness. Myself and my coaches, we like to have fun. We like to dance. We like, you know, there's just, we, we're, we're a fun group. And everything that we have done with our program for the last 11 years is what we're getting ready to bring to you ladies in Fort Worth. And we pray that you're going to have as much fun as our girls have had because our girls have gone on. We have three girls, we have seniors graduating this year and three of our seniors have now become part of the coaching staff. So you'll be able to talk to those ladies when they're in the gym, ask them about who we are, what we do. You know, they know firsthand. They, all of them, except for maybe a couple, have been playing for us for the entire 11 years. We've had them since they were eight U ball, you know, and they're now getting ready to graduate. I've had some of them since they were six or seven years old, which is eight, you know, six U, let's say six U ball, six U, eight U ball is when we started. You know, so I've been having some of these girls for 11 years. They played ball for us the entire time. They've been to elementary school, junior high, and high school. So they know us. So you'll be able to talk to those ladies, you know, those young ladies and talk to them and say, hey, you know, what a Coach Bree and Coach Kathy and, and all of the coaches by we have myself, Coach Bree, we have Coach Leon, we have Coach Kathy, we have Coach Sheila, we have Coach Afi, we have Coach Naquisha, and then there's Coach Sierra, Coach Taylor, and Coach Noel. That's the coaching staff. And you'll at some point meet all of those ladies and uh, Coach Leon in those six weeks. You know, hopefully if Coach Leon doesn't have to work every Saturday. But as far as uh, all the lady coaches, at some point you will have met all of us in the next six weeks. And Coach Sierra, Coach Taylor, and Coach Noel have actually played for the Lady Panthers. And you will be able to sit down and ask them all the questions that you want to ask them about who we are and what we do. You know, we'll, we'll make time for that. So we want you ladies to have fun for the next six weeks. Um, if you have not, once again, call your friends and ask them, hey, have y'all signed up for her time to play? Come on, get signed up. You know, the more the merrier. If you're a high school team, you know, if you're a high schooler signed up, ask your teammates if they're signed up because if the more teammates you have in, we'll keep you ladies together and y'all will learn each other off the court. One thing about playing sports is it doesn't matter how good you are if you play a team sport. If you don't have a relationship and a rapport with your teammates, then y'all don't know y'all won't know how to function on the court together. A lot of games are lost because doesn't it doesn't mean that the girls don't know how to play. They don't know how to play together. They don't know how to play together. So if you have, if you're a high school player and you're signed up, call your teammates and see if they're signed up and tell them to get signed up and come on if they're not. Because the more that you ladies play together over the summer and, and work out together and get things done together, the deeper and stronger of a relationship that you're going to have next fall and winter when basketball season starts and you guys are on the court communicating and all of that. We're going to cover all of that type of stuff once, um, once her time to play starts. So I just wanted to, to give you all a welcome, um, let you know who we are, let you know what we're coming to do, you know, give you details on what I expect of you ladies. I want you to come in and act like young ladies. You are all princesses and queens, depending on your age. You are all princesses and queens. You're beautiful. I don't even know you ladies yet, but you are young girls and I, I advocate for my females. And we are a, a force to be reckoned with young ladies. So even though I have not seen any of you yet, I still say that you are all beautiful and I expect to see all of your beautiful faces in the gym on Saturday morning, okay? Mom, dad, if you have any questions for me, feel free to call me at 214-659-0512. Or email me at Lady Panthers GBT. That's girls basketball team. So Lady Panthers GBT at gmail.com. If you have no questions for me, and then you can just respond to this email 
that this video came in with any questions at all. So either way, but if you don't have any questions for me, just I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday morning. Like I said, start coming in at 9.15, get you signed in, get the waiver, uh, make sure the waiver sign and turn in and we get you in the gym. Remember, carbo load and hydrate on Friday night. Get up Saturday morning, no later than eight o'clock. Get bathed, get a hair comb, for a teeth brush, uh, get your clothes on, eat breakfast and be and come and be ready to play. All right. Talk with you later. Love you all. Have a good time with us this weekend. We're going to have a good time with you. And I pray that this is just one Saturday of many to come that your girls do not want to leave and they just want to say, no, I don't want to go. Oh, Remember, if you also want them to do the paid training after, afterwards from 2.30 to 3.30, that link is also on the, that active page that you went to to register for her time to play in the search box. Put uh, USA Basketball Skills Training, I think is what the uh, city has it listed under, and get registered. Right now, just get registered for Saturday if you want to come because there's the sessions, the six sessions coincide with the her time to play sessions. So right now, if um, you want to want your daughter to come to the paid training after um, her time to play ends, because her time to play ends at 2, the paid training starts at 2.30, go in there and get her registered, okay? But if not, don't worry about it. That is perfectly fine. But I definitely want to see you all at her time to play. I, I look forward to you guys, to you ladies. I always say you guys. I look forward to meeting you ladies. I look forward to meeting you mom and dad. Uh, mom and dad, you guys don't have to stay. You don't have to stay. You trust us to take care of your daughters. We coached our kids, so we're not going to mistreat your kids just like we never mistreated ours, okay? We're going to love on them, teach them how to play basketball, have fun with them, and just have a good time. So without further ado, and if nothing else is being said because I'm done, i see you all on Saturday morning. Bye-bye.